The bill passing in the state Senate by a vote of 22 to 14 around 9 o'clock Tuesday night after nine hours of debate between lawmakers. But opponents of this bill say this fight is not over yet as they plan lawsuits. And the measure is adopted. The smack of a gavel making the vote official. <laughs> and outside the Capitol building, protesters sharing their disappointment and frustration after a day of demonstrations that drew thousands. What's going through my mind is uh, we'll see them in court. The measure to end the religious exemption for required school vaccinations would go into effect on September 1st, 2022. The bill does not force children to be immunized, but it does bar unvaccinated children who do not qualify for a medical exemption from enrolling in school. Students already in K through 12 would be grandfathered in, meaning they could still claim the religious exemption. But any new students entering the school system would not be able to claim that exemption. I'm doing everything I can to hold back tears. So it's just heartbreaking. Catherine Kramer Prokop is against the bill and is now forced to think about her future plans with the seven year old daughter who would continue to claim the religious exemption and one year old twins who would not be able to. I'm a full time working mother. My husband's a full time working father. Um, this will affect one of us will have to change our careers to stay home with them. Opponents also argue that the bill is discriminatory and takes away a family's choice to do what's best for them. But on the other side, supporters of the bill call it a win for public health. Legislator came down and they stated in very, very clear terms that vaccines are safe and they're effective. I know many, many families who have lost their children to vaccine preventable diseases. Several families came here and testified during the marathon hearings, saying that they were moving to Connecticut because they were avoiding the exemption laws in their own states. Those families now will no longer think to move here because they know that we also protect our children when they come to our daycares and schools. Reporting at the Capitol, Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.